Thank you for joining Unlock Excel VBA and Macros course. I'm Leila, your instructor for this course. I'd like to start off by showing exactly how this course is structured and what you can expect to learn along the way. Under the course resources, you'll find a PDF download with over 100 pages of slides that documents important points for each section, so you don't have to. You'll also find a PDF download that provides a table of contents for all the projects we cover inside the course, so you can quickly navigate to the section of your choice. For each section, you'll find two files. One is a code-free version, which you can use to test your knowledge. You can use that to complete the section activity and follow along with me. And the other is the completed version. I've put a lot of thought in the structure of this course, and I've tried to set it up in a way that works well with different learning styles. My teaching style uses a mix of talking head introductions, slides, screencast demos, and on-screen projects. Throughout the course, you'll find quizzes and you have activities that allow you to apply what you learned by solving a challenging task. Different methods to keep things interesting and reinforce key concepts. We'll begin by learning about the Visual Basic Editor environment, about macros, and slowly digging in further to understand the core principles of the Visual Basic language. Once the concept is clear, everything else is going to fall into place. And once we cover the fundamentals, we bring this together to create a fully functioning tool. Our first milestone is a macro that automatically inserts a table of contents for your workbooks. I personally use this for my work and have actually used it throughout the course for all the workbooks that you're using. In the second major part of the course, you'll learn more advanced techniques that help you create complex applications. For example, tools that help you document multiple matches from a lookup table or document locations of comments or external links in your workbook. We'll take a look at macros that allow you to import data from multiple Excel files or create text files with specific requirements. Once we cover separate smaller projects for these, we combine all the techniques to create a sales regional reporting tool that imports data from different Excel files. It consolidates them and creates standalone pivot-based reports for different management levels. After this, you'll learn how to create applications that interact with other applications like Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. We'll create tools that automatically make PowerPoint slides from Excel or create customized letters to different people with different information all with one click. You also learn how you can improve the Excel interface by working with ActiveX controls and user forms. In the third milestone of the course, we bring in this new knowledge and we create an invoice generation tool. You'll learn how to create searchable lists where you can input part of a name and get a list of possible matches using Excel events and user forms. You'll learn how to use multiple column list boxes, create PDF documents, and communicate with Outlook. And to make it fun and show you how far you are on the course map, I've included a completion indicator. This gives you a good overview of all the topics in one place and helps you review how much you've actually achieved and where you're going. Now, one recommendation from my side, it's important to spend some time to understand the basics. Connecting the dots between the theory and the outcome makes all the difference. This is what's gonna save you time and frustration and give you the ability to create amazing Excel tools. Now let's move on to some important compatibility and setup information.